Hi. Be careful out here, okay? Look at the baby you had. Is that a boy? It's a boy. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's a little boy. Hi, little one. Have you gotten up? Have you gotten up? Oh, yeah. Get some milk. Hi, little girl. So Lucy's puppies are under the chicken coop. There's Rye. Rye is out of his cage now. Everybody's doing okay with it. They're not too upset. Hi, little guys. Mary Gold is still in there, and I thought we were going to take her out first rather than Rye, but Mary Gold's in heat, <laughs> and uh, she's too young to be bred. Oh my god, look. It's hard to see, but that's Ladybird. She's walking out there to check on the livestock, and two puppies went with her. There are two puppies out there. There's the livestock. There's Lady Bird and the puppies. That's awesome. I wish I could tell you which puppies those are. I'm really not sure. I love to see when puppies venture out beyond the boundaries that they're most familiar with. That's lovely. Butter. Picking blackberries for butter. These puppies are definitely getting around. <laughs> they know how to get all the way over to the barn, which I'm about to shut this up. They've been getting through there. I don't have a great way to keep dogs out of here except for this. But if I don't do this, then you're just going to spend all your time in the barn. And you're going to make my barn very messy. I mean, it's already messy, but I don't want you uh, going potty in here. There's Bobby Joe, hanging out with Ladybird's puppy. This is little red boy, and uh, this guy, I think he's pretty intelligent. He's very curious and very aware. Hi. You go all the places, huh? You're a cute guy. He's a big boy, too. Really big boy. I like the way he's shaped. Very big, broad shoulders. 
I've got a few others over here. I found some fun things to play on. This is not Puppy Playland. My little orange boy. He's kind of a spunky guy. Here's a little green boy. And there's another puppy under there, but I don't know who it is. They're really tucked up under there. All right, we're going out to see the sheep. And it's just black boy and red boy. That's okay. We got some cows out here, but we're going to avoid them for now. Although we do have some calves. Okay. Hey, Stonewall. Oh, no, sorry. Ladybird. What are you barking at? We're going to stay away from Michael, though, because Michael does not like puppies. Isn't that right? Yeah, you don't like puppies. Puppies suck. Come on, puppies. A little adventure through the big grass. And excuse me, sir, what are you doing? Um, excuse me. Hey. Oh, oh, I see. Hey. Oh, you're hiding tortillas. You're hiding tortillas. Those are my tortillas. That's great. Alright, we're out with the sheep. I believe, let's see, I think we've got five puppies of Ladybird's puppies who decide to come out. So that's Black Boy. Red boy, purple girl, and silver boy. There's Ladybird. We do have some cattle out here. Now, the ones that I really have to be wary of is that one. That's T. And then another one named Michael. But we got Duke. He knows how to protect his babies. That's our bull. His name is G. He's about the most gentle thing we have on this farm. Hey, uh uh, uh uh. Puppies. So I've got just these five, but later on I'll get the next few puppies. sure they get some sheep time today. I do like to see which puppies choose on their own to venture into the pasture. And this morning it looks like it's these guys. These babies are observant at this stage. Curious. It's all right. Good puppies. Puppies. Come on, do you see?
little blue boy. Being nice and curious. Good boy. That's what I like to see. He's interested in the sheep, but he's very calm about it. Just curious. He's not even thinking about the fact that everybody else went in a different direction. What a good boy. Puppy! Hey, ladybird. Ladybird, come here. Come on. Let's see. Let me count some heads. One, two, three, four. Puppy! Come on, puppy! Puppy! <laughs> now, by the way, I don't mind when I come down here with the sheep, I don't mind puppies getting lost. It's good for them to get lost and then to figure it out. <clears throat> so sometimes what I'll do is I'll take them out with the sheep and when I see that the puppies are kind of distracted, not really paying much attention to me, that's when I will sneak away and I'll watch from a distance. You're so cute. You're such a cute little girl. Yes, you are. So proper. So proper. Ladybird has four puppies in tow. And I think I hear another puppy up over here. This puppy is probably all by itself. Puppy! Come on, little one! Oh, yeah. It's lost. <laughs> puppy! Come on! Come on, puppy! Yeah, you figured it out. Puppy! Come on! <whistles> Adversity. It's a good thing. Puppy! My little puppy, it's a little silver. You gonna follow the sheep? That's okay, you can follow the sheep. So, having a puppy in a situation like this where they're lost, they don't know where mama's at, and so then instead, they look at all these white sheep, and they decide, all right, I guess I should follow the white sheep. That's a good thing. Hi, little one. You figured it out. That was interesting. So actually, one of the very interesting things about the bonding process between puppies and their livestock is that when you put them into a shocking situation, they're outside their element and the world seems a little upside down, that is when they're most poised to, uh, hey, <laughs> to bond with an animal because they need to seek solace in something or someone and if you give them pure access to their livestock during that moment then they will create a close bond with them. Puppies just love this ditch. They're going to come out as muddy little things. Oh God. Oh yeah. That's a muddy puppy.
Looking good. Yeah. <laughs> the puppies do enjoy the mud. It's nice and cool in there. And they're more apt to come out here and visit the sheep on their own because this thing is here. There's Ladybird doing what Ladybird does. Ladybird, especially, is my water dog. girl's a big girl so if you look at her pink paint it's kind of red and that's because as I was renewing their paint I mistakenly put red on her because she's a pretty big puppy red boy I would say is definitely one of the biggest ones if not the biggest one and I just I got him confused she's definitely a big girl there's little miss purple runt so cute And that was the sound of Duke reprimanding little Orange. Let's see, let me do a head count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think there's a number nine back there. Missing puppy. There you are. It's Red Boy. Hi. All by yourself. Look, come on, puppies. Green boy. Hi. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's so dramatic. So dramatic. The green boy is definitely falling behind. He's pretty observant. I like when puppies follow my lead means that means that they're learning. Learn by example. You are gonna give birth here in the next few weeks. Next week maybe. Looking pretty ready. Them. Red boy, blue boy. Come on, puppies. Come on. You were so stocky. You were so stocky. You're such a smart little boy. Yes, you are. I like this guy.
it working? Oh. Okay. Oh, look at that muddy puppy. <laughs> comes a cow. That's our cow, Leah. She's so beautiful. Look at that gorgeous udder. So beautiful and very gentle. Hi, Leah. My pretty girl. Puppies. Come on. Come on, little one. Come on. Puppies. Oh. Confidence puppies. Little pink girl. Oh, she's curious. She's curious. <laughs> Come on, little one. I think that little lamb wants to play. So I want these puppies to have a good time and be surrounded by these animals. Positive experiences, that's all they need right now. I gotta watch out for this guy. He'll try to get me. And in the process, I'll get a puppy. Y'all made it! Y'all made it! They're just following the sheep. Oh, here comes the orange. sheep. Come on. Hi, Jeb. Hi, little Jeb. Oh, Jeb. Well, looky there. I just missed it, but all Ladybird's puppies were out there with the sheep. They just came through the gate. I love it. That's amazing. All right, and I didn't show any amount of Bobby Joe's puppies, but here they are. They're at the polar bear stage. Come here. Show me your polar bear face. No, no. Come here. Come here. They're just now starting to get more active. Look at your cute face. Hi. Let's see. Little boy. <laughs> Let's see. There's a couple of Bobby Joe's puppies here, too. Hi. And let's see a couple more here. Oh, hi. They're cute. Oh, what? 
you're such a cutie. The only thing you're allowed to play with right now is chickens. That's it. That's all. <laughs>